Many, many people begin strength training for the purpose of growing larger muscles. Hypertrophy, it's called in the literature, and it is a huge goal for many, many people. And so this lesson is going to be about why ARX is a better tool for that purpose than metal weights. If hypertrophy is your goal, here's why ARX is probably your best bet. Hypertrophy is an adaptation. It's something your body does in response to stimuli in your environment. And there are four main stimuli that provoke your body into producing larger muscles. They are muscle damage, mechanical tension, glycogen depletion, and the depth and rate of fatigue. I'm going to describe these four things briefly, and then I'm going to compare ARX to metal weights in terms of how well they accomplish each of these four stimuli. And that then would mean how well they accomplish hypertrophy. So muscle damage is actual microtrauma to the muscle fibers. And this damage occurs most often during the eccentric phase of muscle contraction. That is when a muscle is lengthening under tension. That's when the vast majority of muscle damage actually occurs. And muscle damage is the most important stimulus for hypertrophy. Second on the list, mechanical tension. That's literally just the tension on the system. In the weight room, that would be equal to how much weight is on the bar. More weight on the bar equals more mechanical tension because it forces you to produce more force with your muscles. So the more force that your muscles produce, the more mechanical tension there is. Glycogen is just groups of sugar molecules that exist in your muscles. Your skeletal muscles, that's your big large muscles, are the vast and primary reservoir for sugar in the body. And so that's really important because your body uses that reservoir for powerful, fast, explosive action, like a fight or flight type of situation. And so your body uh, reserves this glycogen very jealously, and when it is depleted, the response from your body, if given enough time afterwards, if you survive the encounter, to your body's thinking, uh, it will build larger reservoirs of glycogen to prepare for future emergencies like this one. And those reservoirs, again, are the muscle. So by depleting your fuel source, your body will rebuild larger reservoirs, so bigger muscles that you can then store glycogen in. Finally, the depth and rate of fatigue. Uh, when the only times, evolutionarily speaking, that you are fatigued deeply and rapidly is when you're fighting a rival or escaping from a predator or something like that. Something very serious is happening. And so when we strength train and we fatigue ourselves deeply and rapidly, that is a powerful systemic stimulus. And the response to that stimulus is larger and better performing muscles. It's a signal that says your reserves are inadequate build bigger, better, stronger muscles for future emergency. So muscle damage, mechanical tension, glycogen depletion, and deep levels of fatigue that are reached quickly. So let's compare metal weights and ARX. Well, muscle damage, we know that metal weights fail to properly load the eccentric phase. And the eccentric phase is the important one for muscle damage. Because if it properly loaded the eccentric and you were really challenged maximally, say lowering a barbell down in a squat, you could never lift that same amount of weight and your set would be done pretty quick and it wouldn't be pretty. So you compromise, you lower the weight just so you can lift that weight back to the start position. And so you're underloaded then when you go back down. With ARX, of course, ARX loads the eccentric phase perfectly every time and always. You are 100% of the time matched in your maximum capacity in the eccentric phase. So when you lengthen under tension with ARX, you're leaving no meat on the bone. You are perfectly loaded. With metal weights, you're underloaded pretty drastically. Mechanical tension. Once again, metal weights underload the target muscles. Even if it properly loaded the target muscles on the way up, that's called a one rep max, and your set is done pretty quick. Well, with ARX, you can provide unlimited mechanical tension all of the time. So at any time in your set, in eccentric phase, in concentric phase, at the beginning to the end, there is no time when you are not allowed to produce the maximum mechanical tension of which you're capable. So mechanical tension, that's topped out, that's max. So muscle damage is topped out and max <laughs> because the eccentric phase causes muscle damage in proportion to mechanical tension. They're related like that. So all of a sudden, ARX is up two to nothing. Let's go to glycogen depletion. Metal weights, so that's inefficient depletion. 
it requires excessive volume. It means you do deplete glycogen, but because of the first two, you deplete that glycogen far more slowly. Now, glycogen is primarily depleted in the concentric when muscles are shortening under tension, contracting under tension. Well, with ARX, every contraction, every concentric phase is a maximum effort all the time, every time. And so the maximum possible rate of glycogen depletion is accomplished with ARX. So that's 3 nothing ARX. Let's talk about depth and rate of fatigue. Well, you could fatigue yourself pretty well with metal weights, but it gets increasingly dangerous as you do. We've all experienced the phenomenon of taking a weight that felt great on repetition one or two or three, and if we fatigue ourselves and go to rep nine, rep 10, rep 11, all of a sudden our knees are shaken, our hips are instable, our spine is tired, and mistakes can happen. But with ARX, any desired level of fatigue is possible in complete safety. It's no more dangerous on the 15th rep than it is on the first rep. So you can have a one rep max and it's your most powerful possible output of energy and then you can just keep going until you're producing two pound feet of torque. It doesn't matter how deeply you fatigue. I mean, we need to bring a bucket over and everything, uh, but you would be in no more danger than that very first or the middle reps. So that's four nothing. ARX provides optimal muscle damage provides more mechanical tension than is possible with metal weights, depletes glycogen more efficiently and more quickly and more deeply than metal weights, and provides a deeper and more rapid rate of fatigue than is possible with any traditional gravity-based tool. And so for hypertrophy, if larger muscles is one of your goals, then the obvious choice is ARX.